Dang, somebody got got. No! <laughs> no, my bike met the same faith as the Dodge. Did they really just put a hole in this building? Take the bike on a walk, you know? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Hell yeah. I almost got hit by a car. Oh my god, that dog almost got hit by a car. Howdy. Oh, I got the salute from him. He's like, yo, you really outside. You get the salute. What's going on, y'all? As you can see, it just stopped raining. Everything's still wet. And the reason I'm out riding right now is because I won't get stuck in mud. No, it's because it's flooding. Like, look at that. That's freaking wild. Normally we ride across that. I am not riding across that today. That is for sure a death sentence. Like, look at that current. So, with all this flooding, I figured I'd go explore. And I saw a few posts that Dallas was flooding. So, here's our first spot. And that's pretty flooded. Oh, I really should have put on my dirt tires. This racing slick's not doing me any favors. It's literally just spinning. But it was raining all night and all morning, and the rain just stopped, so I figured I'd go grab the bike and uh, see what's happening. Like, what? Even that's flooded. All right, if I can do so again, wet feet, I'm the greatest rider in the world. I, 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 you're doing good, Paul. You're doing great. I don't know anything about drainage, but that can't be good. Water is just flowing out of that. Oh, I gotta put neutral. River up, let go, and pull the clutch. Let's go. Greatest rider in the world right here, boys. Oh, that looks like a giant rut. I really don't want wet feet. I really don't want wet feet. Where's a good spot to turn around? Oh, no. This is not. We're getting wet feet, boys. There's there's no advance about Unless I can make it through the stream and turn around right there. But that, oh, wait. I can turn around here. I'm a genius. That looks kind of deep right there. Like there's been some erosion. Right, let's see the erosion. Oh, that's not even that deep. So all these people are turning around because the road's closed for the flood and watch this, I'm on a soup moto. I wonder if they even let me through. Look at all these people, mad pussy. Oh dang, the water hasn't been up to here. Look at all the stuff, that's crazy. Dang, somebody got got. Not the Chally. Not the Dodge. I think I got it. Do I got it? <laughs> I think I got it. Let's see, let's see. If I go along the guardrail, I should be good. Oh, I got it. We're good. <laughs> Oh, I got deep. Woo! Through the flood zone. But yeah, the water had to be up to here. Unless somebody crashed. Like, this is crazy, all the stuff up here. Uh, somebody's going to be claiming insurance on that Dodge. Got a good thumbnail. Oh, that's watery. No! Oh! <laughs> I got gas! I thought I had it! Oh, y'all got wet suits too, so y'all don't get wet? <laughs> no, my bike met the same faith as the Dodge. I wonder if the carb sucked in water or what it was. <laughs> but. 
Well, don't ride through a flood. Come on. Nah, I'll be good. All right, you got it, bike. I just lay it on its side for a minute so it'll clean out the carb. And that should be good. There we go. I think it's drained out sufficiently. Okay, there we go. We're good. We did not meet the same pace as this Dodge. I'll take it. Let's go. I thought for sure I was going to be FaceTiming somebody for help. And now I just have wet feet, but the adrenaline's kind of kicking in, so that doesn't matter too much. Ski. But we made it through one water crossing. I really need to reroute the hoses to my carb, the vacuum ones, to go up so they don't suck in water. But fortunately, as long as I don't submerge like the air filter and it doesn't hydro lock, I literally just, uh, I literally just, oh, I'm retarded. I literally just tip the bike over and then it gets all the water out. All right, we'll check out Crackhead Tunnel. Oh, maybe I'll just explore up here. I don't know if I want to go all the way in it. Yeah, I ain't going in that. That thing's freaking flowing. That'd be the last time I see my bike if I try crossing that. I've gone it when it's been deep, but never that deep. That's that's flowing. Oh no, it's raining over here. I'm turning around. I'm not riding into the rain. No, sir. Did they really just put a hole in this building? I kind of want to peep my head in. But I don't want to get like smacked with a frying pan. What the heck? Yo! What up? Huh? Who are you? Bubba! Yeah! What up? I ain't coming here. I'm just riding, bro. I'm just riding, bro. Huh? No, I'm just riding. Yeah. You chilling? I bet, bet. I'm just riding, looking around. Had to put in my alter ego, Bubba, because I ain't, I ain't going to see what's up with him. If he's living in there and got face tats, bro, I'll go there and never return or never exit. Oh, we got a double back and get a post for Dallas, Texas TV. This one's kind of risky, but since my feet are already wet, I'm going to do it. Oh. Yo, look at this. Everybody's getting stuck. This is why you ride a dirt bike. 1995 U-Haul. Woo! Through the water we go. <laughs> oh, I'm freaking soaked, but I think that was worth it. You gotta hit the... Take the bike on a walk, you know? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Hell yeah. My dude was about it. Lighting them up! I love it. I guess it didn't make it to the walking path, but... If you're trying to sit at that bench, it definitely made it. Oh, dang, it made it all the way up to here at some point. If you're trying to sit on that bench, you definitely ain't sitting there. Come on, Slick. Come on, 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 come on. Thank you. How 
buddy. Oh, I got the salute from him. He's like, yo, you really outside. You get the salute. Oh my God, those are the roughest stairs ever. <laughs> and they were tiny. Yo, what the heck? That's a brand new structure right there. Yeah, I guess you can just post up there. Why not? I almost got hit by a car. Oh my god, that dog almost got hit by a car. Let me make sure he gets his dog. Oh my god, yeah, that dog ran out. Yes, sir. Oh my god, that was wild. I thought the dog was going to hit by a car. So yeah, that guy had his dog, and uh, it started running across. Thank god there's no cars coming this way, but there's a car right behind me, and it like, runs out. The car slows down. The dog tries to hit the brakes here, but skids and slides into the road. So I turn around to retrieve his dog. This is a dog did not like two strokes. Oh my god, I would have felt terrible if that dog got hit. But also keep your dog on a leash if you're like right next to a major road. Alright, that's probably a stupid idea, but I just want to see. I'm probably not going to do it because I'm on racing slicks and it involves mud. But I just want to see something. I think it would be kind of sick. Maybe if I have my dirt tires. If I have my dirt tires, I 100% do it. I mean, it's not really flowing. But there is that log in front and the debris. But yeah, I really don't want to just get right here and then the bike slide out and I fall into that water. So I'm really not trying to go into that water. But I mean, it would be kind of funny retrieving my bike from that water. That water is so nasty though. We'll see how the slicks fare on this. Yeah, like this isn't like, like, look at that, you see? This is about to simulate the steepness of that hill. The moment I hit the grass, it's just gonna spin. Yeah, like that's not gonna work. Let's just see it goes up right there. Dang it. I should have put on my knobbies. We have totally done did it. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. That's how you get up stuff, just wheel speed. Sith gear pinned. Get her nice and smoky. Oh, it's on sight. It's on sight. It is on sight. Oh. Oops. Wasn't me. Oh, possible flooded area back there, actually. Skirt. Do we got a flood back here? Yes, sir! Oh, they're pumping it out and stuff. They're saying, no, do not go down here. Dang. They're gonna flood it up. Flood it here! Oh, somebody just said my name. They're like, I was looking at Dallas Texas TV to try to find some more fly. Like, hey, yo, Paul so hard. Oh, it's going up. Through the flood. Oh, well, we'll hit one time for the one time. Y'all know you gotta do that. When you see the white ones, you can hit the white ones. The other ones, you can't hit. And you're on the wrong side of the road. So yeah, I'm just gonna launch in here so this thing's amphibious. a lot of water so this is one of these crosswalks slash like light pole things like that and you see if you're a Suron rider this is what y'all look for because you take the black wire and the red wire and hook them to your battery and then you can charge up your Suron for free and you just hang out here for like eight hours and then you're ready to ride again bro it's so chill it's like so much better than getting gas and it's free bro I'm just stealing electricity for the city <laughs> She got the lasso. He's snapping that thing. Hopefully, he doesn't snap me. He's tweaking. Oh, it's a chain. Woo! Ah, 
I would not mess with that dude. That would friggin' hurt. Uh, yeah. Alright, ready. Yeah. What a place to park. No right turn, only left? What the heck's over here? Hopefully that cop doesn't harass me. Did I find the back door? The back entrance? Oh, let's go. I did find it. So did they. We're both sneaking in. So I was right. Dang, it's going to be a hard one to get up. Huh. I don't think I can make it up those stairs. What about what's right here? Oh, yo, what the heck? That's creepy. Flooded in here. The roof must not be good. It's kind of creepy to chair. I might have to come back and check this out with some friends. I ain't going here alone. Especially when I'm leaving my bike with them right there. I'll give somebody a dollar to walk across that, but I'm not liable. Nope. <laughs> they literally wrote no copper. Like somebody's already taken the copper. Don't break in, there's no copper. That's hilarious. All right, here we go, boys. Oh, it's not opening sesame. Dang, that'd be sick for the open sesame, maybe from the inside. Definitely come back here with a friend. That'd be kind of sick. There's an easy way to tell what's wrong with the vehicle is if they leave all their oil containers. So I assume this thing burned a lot of oil and it finally they didn't put enough oil in it and the motor locked up. That's Pulsar Mechanics. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed watching me go through some floods, stall my bike out of the flood and do all that. So drop a like, drop a comment. Thanks for watching, y'all.